Hey guys, welcome back to our channel. It's girlfriend Ilungu back with another reaction video. If you're new to this channel, make sure to give this video a thumbs up, share it with your friends, and of course, do not forget to subscribe. Like I said, my name is Fanny Lungu, and on this channel, we post reaction videos each and every day. So if there's something that you guys want us to react to, let us know by dropping a link in the comment section below, and we'll do it for you. Check out our second YouTube channel called Fanny and Jesse 2.0, and feel free to subscribe. A big shout out to the person that suggested this and a big shout out to everyone that has subscribed to our channel. Thank you so much. So today I'm going to be reacting to Khalid Diasin about the miracles in the Quran. So without wasting time, let's get into the video. I gave you some statistics, and the basis of it was from the Quran. The Quran says, and a sign for them is the dead earth. It is brought back to life, and then from it springs fruits and grains of all kinds which they eat. And we place therein gardens and palm trees and grapevines and cause them to burst forth therein some springs that come from the ground that man doesn't control himself. And there he creates his industry. That they may eat of the fruit created by God and their hands have not produced it at all. So will they be grateful? Exalted is he who created all life in pairs. So the Quran establishes that everything in life, everything in life has been created in pairs. Were the plants, were the animals, were the insects, were the fish, or bacteria. Has science ratified that, that everything in life has been created in pairs? Yes, the Quran said that. 1,424 years ago. And of course, the Prophet Muhammad, peace and blessing be upon him, he wasn't a botanist. He wasn't a geologist. He didn't have a microscope. He had no way of knowing that. The only way a human being, 1,424 years, could know that is through the help and inspiration of the one who is the creator from the beginning. Because that fact that everything has been created in pairs was only discovered 78 years ago, scientifically. Exalted is he, almighty God, who created all things in pairs, from what the earth grows and from themselves, the human beings, and from that which they do not know. That means, here the Quran is establishing, that there are some creatures maybe micro creatures that are also created in pairs that the human being doesn't know about and a sign for them is the night that we extract from the light of the day now this is the phenomena itself that we have now discovered from going out of space when we go out in space we realize that the night we realize that the day is extracted from the night not the night from the day we realize that night is first and day is second, although we say day, night. We realize now that time is really inverted, but you have to go out in space to be able to see it. That's why in Australia, we are sitting here at 9.30 in the evening, isn't it? In London, it is now 10.30 in the morning, but yesterday. And in America, it's 5.30 in the morning yesterday. But we just discovered that dimension of time recently, didn't we? We didn't know that before. But the Quran is establishes that. Because listen to this. And the sun runs its own course towards its stopping point. And that is the determination of the exalted in might, the knowing. And the moon, we have determined for it, phases until it returns appearing like a date stalk. Now think about it. 
Here the Quran has established that the sun runs its course along with its other bodies which carries it. What bodies does the sun carry with it? It's nine planets, is that correct? Based upon the movement of the sun and the planets around it, we establish what? Time, isn't it? And based upon the movement of the moon around the earth, we establish what? Another set of time. Now how did the Quran establish this 1,424 years ago? While the Prophet Muhammad, peace and blessing be upon him, he didn't have any telescope. He didn't know that. He could only have known that through the aid and the assistance of revelation or inspiration from the one who created. The Quran says it is not allowed. Listen to this. La shamsu yambaghi laha an tudrik al qamar wa lad layl yusabik al nahar wa fi falaq yasbahun. It is not allowed for the sun to reach the moon, that is to outstrip it. Nor is it allowed for the night to overtake the day, but each one of them swims along in its own law and orbit. When was that established? How long was it that Copernicus gave us a theory that man was in the center of the universe? Did you remember that? That man was the center of the universe. We know now that man is not the center of the universe at all. Well, 1,424 years ago, the Quran established that the sun cannot outstrip the moon and the night cannot outstrip the day, but each one of them are engaged in a predetermined law and orbit. This is the Quran. Dear brothers and sisters, all of this is to establish in your minds, all of this dialogue, all of this evidence, all of this proof is to clearly establish in everybody's mind here that you and I nor all of us together, nor all the human beings in other places throughout the earth, none of us individually, endowed or unendowed, intelligent or unintelligent, educated or otherwise, rich or poor, black or white, male or female, none of us are benefactors. Who's the benefactor? Who's the benefactor? God. The Almighty. The Creator. Your Lord, my Lord. This was established by those prophets and messengers, those extraordinary human beings that I spoke about a few moments ago. That was already established. I didn't need to come here and establish that. I just need to come here and remind you of that. Now those extraordinary human beings were the ones that came to tell other human beings who thought at that time that they were somewhat sophisticated. Isn't that, you know, this is unique about humans. At every age, even 5,000 years ago, they thought they were modern. At every age, human beings, no matter what stage of development they are at, they think that they are modern and more sophisticated than others. This is the nature of human beings. Yet all of them don't seem to ponder on the fact that they're only here for a moment. And some of them, during the moment that they're here, they become so arrogant. They begin to say that we, we, we are the owners. We are the peacekeepers. We are the organizers. We are the administrators. We are the ones who created ourselves, determined for ourselves, legislate for ourselves and others, and we own everything and we determine everything. Isn't there some people that say that? You're either with us <laughs> or against us. And don't give man, don't give man a few tools that he can use, a few things that he can throw or some missiles that he can shoot. He really becomes arrogant then. <laughs> well, you know, when Moses, when he went to Pharaoh, Abraham 
when he went to Pharaoh, peace and blessing be upon him, when Abraham went to Pharaoh and talked to Pharaoh, Pharaoh told Abraham, why should I worship your God? Why? I have command over life and death. Anybody I want to die will die. Anybody I want to live will live. What did Abraham say to Pharaoh? What did he say to him? If you really got some power, the one, you, the one that, that you kill, bring him back to life. The one you kill, bring him back to life if you got power. And if you got some power, when the sun sets in the west, you cause the rise and make it set in the east. Was Pharaoh able to do that? He wasn't able to do that then, and the Pharaohs today can't do it today. Very interesting video. Um, the um, the proof that's in the Quran that certain things happened or existed way back, like in the old days, and we're only discovering them now, still shocks me at, at, up to up to now. I'm just amazed about how much information the Quran has concerning certain things. Otherwise, it, it's it's a it's a very appealing book it's something that you want to read and i mean if we read a lot without criticism we'd be able to come across these things earlier than um anticipated otherwise this was an interesting video and i hope you guys enjoyed it as much as i did make sure to give this video a thumbs up share it with your friends and of course do not forget to subscribe and i'll see you in my next reaction video